The moment you relinquish your attachment to the result, combining one pointed intention with detachment at the same time, you will have that which you desire. This quote is by Deepak Chopra from his book, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, this tiny book here. Highly recommend you read that book. It's very small, concise, and it won't take you more than an hour or so, but it's packed with wisdom and it's basically one big quote. I'll link it in the description to the video. And this is also one of the books that I have gifted the most to my friends, especially the spiritual skeptics ones. Today, we'll dig into the sixth law, which is the law of detachment. In this description to the video below, again, you will find the whole playlist if you've missed any of the previous laws. But for now, let's dig right in. Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name is Raphael, and on this channel, we meditate together every single day. And we also have episodes on self-improvement and philosophy, helping you define a good life, a life of joy and happiness, and a life that you can live as the very best version of yourself. If this is interesting to you, please do consider subscribing to the channel and check out the description of this episode below for more free resources. Let's start by reading a passage from Deepak Chopra's book, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. He says, and I quote, The law of detachment says that in order to acquire anything in the physical universe, you have to relinquish your attachment to it. This doesn't mean that you give up the intention to create your desire. You do not give up the intention and you don't give up the desire. You give up your attachment to the result. I really like this concept and it's really intertwined with what we learned the other day on the fifth law, the law of intention and desire, right? We often get too obsessed on whether this relationship or this job or this new business venture is going to work. Oftentimes, it can be paralyzing. We're so attached to the result that we don't have the right energy to make things happen smoothly. That doesn't mean that you should not care about what you're doing. On the contrary, it means that you need to maintain your passionate commitment to your ideas and to your goals and to your intentions and desires. Just don't be too attached to the result. The question that you may ask now, though, is, well, how do you stay motivated? How do you keep the tension? The answer is easy, by continuing on the path, by taking the next step in your plan or in your process. And if you do that, preferably with excellence and integrity, the results will come on their own. The money will come, the love will come, and whatever it is that you desire. But if you focus on the results, you'll get lost in your dream and get paralyzed by your fears. So what do you guys think? Are you ready to take the next step? Let's take our journals out then and take the next step on today's for me, it's in the morning, so our morning routine. Write down in your journals what it is that you desire. What are your desires? Choose one or two really important desires you have, dreams even. Now, I want you to write what the next step is that you need to take to make that dream come true. Don't worry if it will work or not. In fact, I want you to title that step Plan A. If it doesn't work, don't stress, you'll get on Plan B. If that still doesn't work, well, you have a whole alphabet. Focus on the next step, not on the result. Again, as we saw last time, the results are not dependent to our process 100% of the time, and we can only control the process. So if you focus on things that you cannot control, all of the wise men have told us in the past, ancient past and more modern times, if you focus on what you cannot control, you will suffer. Buddha says it, Marcus Aurelius says it, Seneca says it, Epictetus says it. Well, more, more all, the folk, uh, all the Stoics, this is one of the main Stoic principles, right? You only focus on what it is that you can control. Your mind, your actions, but not the outcomes or pe other people's actions. Okay, let's finish today's video, as always, with some empowering affirmations. I've prepared them for you here. I will read them to you, and I highly suggest that you repeat them out loud so that you embody them. <laughs> I'm having troubles talking today. So the first empowering affirmation is, I am not attached to outcomes. I am committed to the process. 
The second empowering affirmation is, I act with passion every single day. The results will knock on my door eventually. Last but not least, I am passionately, I am passionately committed to my intentions while staying detached from the outcomes. And that's all. I want to make a small note because this is something that was asked uh, in the previous video, uh, because of the previous video, um, which is why are those empowering affirmations and not simply positive affirmations? I am not a fan of positive affirmations because sometimes they're not exactly the truth. So it's not by being positive all the time that you will get anything done. You need to be realistic. You need to, yes, you need to dream big. Yes, you need to think big. Yes, you need to have certain desires and goals and ambitions, but you also have to spray it with reality constraints. So I prefer to be empowered with the truth than try to fool my brain into something positive that is not necessarily there. We'll talk a lot more about it. We'll talk about the stoic practices related to positive affirmation or actually negative affirmation, which is uh, making sure that every morning you tell yourself certain things so that you're prepared in case you have troubles during the day. We'll talk about it later. This is not the subject of today's. This was just to answer one of the questions from one of the viewers. Um, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please do put a thumbs up. This not only boosts my ego, but the YouTube algorithm so that people can find us and participate in our videos and meditate with us every single day. Please do share those videos, the meditations, but also these kind of videos to your friends, colleagues, and family members that can benefit from this content. Sharing is caring, right? And also, if you've not done so already, please do subscribe to the channel and check out the notes in the, de the description to the video for more free resources, for the complete playlist with all the laws of the spiritual success for meditations, uh, blog, podcast, newsletter, everything that you need. Also, my contact information if you want to say hello. Take care. I'll see you soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye.